This woman is an egg artist. This man builds and burns ships. Just two of the guests you'll meet during the next half hour. I'm Warren Davis. This is Double Up. And now here's your host, Hart Pomerantz. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, here we are again for Double Up. And if this is the first show, welcome to Double Up. Since we don't know what order these shows are going in. And when you see the shows, you'll know why. Uh, Warren Davis, my erstwhile cohort, could you explain to the audience at home and to here and to me what the show is about? And maybe I'll understand myself. No, it's very easy, Hart. It's a quiz program with interesting people to talk oh, to, basically. Oh, excellent. They have a chance to make some money. You have a chance to meet some interesting people. We have six guests. There's three teams. You'll talk to them first of all. They have interesting hobbies, interesting jobs. You, uh, you'll find out what they do for a living. Then they have a chance to make a living. They make some money by betting. They start with $50 each. They can bet up to, well, in multiples of 10 on a series of three questions that you're going to ask them. Well, okay. welcome to the Warren Davis Hour. <laughs> so, let's have our first guest, and who are they, Warren? Okay, well, the first guest is um, a man who sings Cockney, so or a woman, rather, who sings Cockney songs and is a character actress. Her name is Kathleen Chalice. And then we have a man from Winnipeg who collects... What does it say? Elizabeth Taylor. Pictures, Famous. pictures. <laughs> oh, Han and, Han and Bell. All right, <laughs> let's welcome them. <laughs> Well, welcome to, welcome to Double Up, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. You have uh, no choice, so I'd like to interview <laughs> Kathleen Chalice. You sing Cockney songs, it says here, and is a character actor. That is correct. Or actress. Yes, actress. Actress, because I was going to say it was marvelous, but <laughs> now, you, you, I understand it, Kathleen, are a professional Cockney. What does that mean? It says on, it says, it says that here. Um. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. I wonder who we can find out from. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you yeah, talk with a Cockney accent? Is this... Uh... Yes, I do. And are you from Cockney? Yes, I am. <laughs> and uh, where, where I about I was born is... within the sound of Bow Bells. So is... I am... I was born on Blackheath. So I was uh, born within the sound of Bow Bells. Do they have no, no hospitals there at all? <laughs> I guess that's natural childbirth. What? What? What is yeah, the but... sound of the cows? Bells. What is that about? No, the sound of bow bells. Bow bells. Bow is the name of a church. Oh yes. You see. That's my problem. <laughs> and is that in it's England? That's the. And if you hear the bells, the, that, that means you're a Cockney. That is correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any deaf Cockneys? Uh, yes, I expect so. Now, are you an actress? <laughs> and tell me what you've been doing lately as an actress. Well, <laughs> just recently I've been in, uh, I've been an extra in Very The Collaborators. Oh, that's good. Very important. And did you use your accent in that? Your no, English? I didn't. What no, did I you didn't. do? Right. I didn't talk at all. I, I just uh, shuffled round. I, I, um, what did I do? I climbed up onto a plane. Onto uh, a plane? At the airport. A low-flying yes. plane. That's right. <laughs> Right, and I understand that you sing Cockney songs, is that correct? If yes, it's right. not, just tell me. Yeah. But I love Cockney songs. I have hundreds of them you do. that, I, that I've you never do. heard at all. <laughs> Could you give us an idea of what a Cockney song... I have two, just two with me, actually. All right, give us one. Take favorite. about a minute each. Well, give us half a one. Just a bit of the chorus. Just Would the, that do? Just do the treble clef. <laughs> Go ahead. i better put the hat on. Go ahead. Shall I? Yep. I can get it on now. And start singing as you put it on, because we're <laughs> fastly running out of time. You're on, Kathleen. This is your life. No piano. <laughs> yes, there is, but it can't be played. <laughs> There's a budget problem. Go ahead, Kathleen. I have a lovely bunch of coconuts. Oh, there they are standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. <laughs> That's good. That's a good time to stop. Thank you very much. And now let's go on to Hannon Bell. That was beautiful. Hannon, you collect, 
You collect Elizabeth Taylor pictures, is that correct? Yes, I do. And how many pictures of Elizabeth Taylor do you have? 3,000 pictures and 16 scrapbooks. <laughs> 3,000 pictures of Elizabeth Taylor? Yes. Boy, that's a lot of pictures. You must keep them all alphabetically. <laughs> no, I don't. How I, do you keep them organized? I keep them organized in uh, such volumes as, well, this one, Husbands. Uh, <laughs> and Husbands. Uh, films such as Cleopatra. Did you enjoy Cleopatra as a picture for Immensely, her? the most fabulous historical movie I think ever produced. I think you're quite wrong. Now, who, <laughs> have, you, have you ever written to Liz Taylor? I did try only once uh, a month ago when she was in Hawaii. And you wrote to her? Yes. And you got an answer? No, she got an answer from Burton that they're getting divorced. Oh my. Did you have anything to do with that? <laughs> I don't think so. You weren't that car salesman from uh, California. <laughs> no. <laughs> would you like to meet Elizabeth Taylor? I sure would. How much would you pay to meet her? How much would you pay to meet Elizabeth Taylor? I mean cash I don't money. Know. I have no idea. Why do you like her as opposed to all the other uh, Taylors, like Robert Taylor? <laughs> She's a woman. She's a woman. No, no, she's a, a marvelous actress, excellent. Uh, her scope and depth is, is tremendous, and uh, she's a fascinating uh, woman as a humanitarian also. She, would you, can, as a humanitarian, you like her? How does she rank with, say, uh, Schweitzer? <laughs> Prettier. Pardon? Prettier. Prettier than Schweitzer? Yes. But that's excellent. How many times have you seen Cleopatra? Uh, nine times. And you... I understand, do an impression of Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, I can do Elizabeth Taylor Go ahead. and Richard Burton. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, here's the two of them, directly from Virginia Woolf. All right. <clears throat> you can sit there with a gin running out of your mouth. You can humiliate me. You can stand it. You married me for it. I warned you. I'm impressed. I told you not to go too far. I'm just beginning. My God. Do you like it? Yeah. That's great. Very good. That's phenomenal. That's very good. That's very Thank good. you. Isn't it nice the way some people have manners, even in this day and age? No, it's very good. And they, and they you know, uh, if you were the real thing, you'd never split up. <laughs> All right. Sports is your first category, and you have $50. Talk amongst yourselves. $50, how much do you want to bet for sports? Okay. $10. $10. Avelino Gomez is a labor organizer. <laughs> a, a musician or a jockey? A jockey. A jockey, that's correct. Let's hear some applause for the right answer. You've won $60, and now out of the $60, how much do you want to bet for $60? It's geography. Uh, 20 20. 20 is good, all right. Bigar is a town in what Canadian province? Bigar. B-I-G-G-A-R. Bigger. <laughs> or Bigar. Or... Manitoba. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you're wrong. It's another province altogether. <laughs> Saskatchewan. I'm sorry, Saskatchewan. Now, you've lost a little bit of money, but you've got $40. You can bet up to 40 to see if you get to double up. Movies, aha. Uh -huh. 20. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Oh, it doesn't matter. 20. 20 is good. It's not actor anyways. So. It's, it's all right. Which of the following movies did Don Shabib, the Canadian director, not direct? Okay. Going Down the Road, The Rowdy Man, or Between Friends? Which one did he not direct, Don Shabib? The middle one was the rowdy man, that's correct. You have won $20, that's $60, and that's very good going, thank you. We'll be right back after these commercial messages with more gifts.